uh, speak louder okay uh, my voice is probably not very clear for you but here it is fine here it shows a bit fine okay uh, can i ask any one of you 26 are there can i ask any one of you can audible sir audible only no yeah okay just uh, if manageable i think now maybe a little louder so maybe manageable just uh, go ahead with it fine uh, this is one chapter it is something little different than the chapters that you have read so far here in this chapter we go uh, something about uh, uh, one kind of a play we can say because dialogues are there and uh, this kind of thing you have noticed maybe in your ninth standard and uh, Sometimes even in 10th standard, such kind of conversations and that turns out to be a kind of play. Your the one name is there, it is uh, Browning. Actually, it refers to one poet, uh, English poet. Uh, you can say just uh, in a bigger term, um, author uh, in the English uh, literature. And uh, his, of course, his, his were not, uh, his poems basically were not so easy to be understood. But uh, here, I did not find much of uh, this reference over there, but in the manner of Browning can be, uh, you know, the meaning that the writer wanted to convey by this, that is in the manner of Browning, how it appears, how, how does it all come. So if we uh, just remember the history of this, thoda sa history, let us just know, because later on you may not come to know also ki how plays actually came into existence. And uh, the present time, uh, you know, situation is that is uh, cinema world, wherein the movies are there. So it is all a gradual development. It has taken place uh, right from, you know, the literature. And the first thing that had started taking place is the enactment of the scenes from the Bible. That was somewhat long back. I'm telling you something uh, uh, towards the end of 15th century and the beginning of uh, 16th century. That is where the enactment from the scenes from the Bible they used to do, uh, just like a drama they used to do. The reason was for enactment because common people were not able to understand the language of the Bible and the Bible was not there in English at that time. It was uh, in the French and Latin language Bible was available. So for the common masses to understand and that was considered that, that language was of the affluent classes. Like here at this moment in India, like in, in the present scenario, we consider the English language is the language of the elite class or if not elite class, the educated, uh, you know, masses. And uh, therefore, if uh, something of a common issue is to be, you know, talked to the public, then it should go in the common language, not in the English language. But uh, if it is only of the English language, so either we would have to make the translation or we would have to go for some other means, isn't it? So at that time, then English was not that prominent, even in England itself. English was considered to be the language of just common mass and not of the elite class and high class. So uh, for common people to understand what is the message there in the Bible, the people uh, started enacting it there in the church itself. Okay? And this was probably the beginning of the plays. Then uh, they were called uh, uh, miracle plays and later on came mystery plays. Mysteries then they were on the lives of saints and seers and after that came interludes. Interludes mean that in the meanwhile between these plays there used to be one comic scene and that from there took place the development of a full length drama. And that, that drama used to be then afterwards uh, of three hours In three hours, you know, audience sitting there and in front of them the players coming and playing all the things you can imagine the technology at that time was not there so how they would indicate uh, the rise of the sun even the setting of the sun and uh, all other such things you know they would just mention there so this was something uh, you can say at a very uh, child stage of drama that had started taking place after some time then came um, uh, William Shakespeare into play and then his dramas were written then on the, the best dramas of the world were written by William Shakespeare. Of course, later on, some things were also added. That is secondary, you can say that is second part of it. But beyond that was something this. Uh, the plays then were at that time very big plays. There used to be seven acts, act seven. So one act, if you just read minimum 
30 to 40 pages used to be one act if you printed form if you check so uh, like that there used to be seven acts then from seven acts it came to five acts because uh, you know just shrinking because initially like uh, you might have seen uh, this one um, matches so there used to be earlier on more would be this um, uh, test matches 60 overs then 60 over match came you know then 50 overs one day then came then 2020 came and on sebi chota version is also available now so this is with the development actually the changes do come then from three uh, five acts to three acts it came in the 19th century late 19th century and after that came immediately one act play the reason was what the earlier time when we think about uh, the end of 15th century beginning of 16th century at that time people have a lot of time and for entertainment they used to go to such places to the theaters and all and then there um, there would be the enactment of the play the players uh, would be acting and uh, war scenes and all such things uh, would take place so then uh, it was considered by the audiences that it was too much time consuming and so in order to reduce that time from uh, seven acts to five acts uh, full length play then from there uh, three acts only even lesser less than three hours time then uh, turned out to be only one act play okay and the one act play then you can imagine one and a half hours maximum and uh, uh, now we have got only skit only 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes play is there that we, we call it skit today so it's as if uh, we skipped a lot and then it turned out to be a small skit so this is um, the development that you see well what comes up through drama uh, drama actually represents life and some events and occasions of life they are you know represented by these players they portray life there on the stage and if you are opportune if you go to uh, you know jaipur or uh, if you go to exactly i can say mumbai and all there are theaters and this theaters i mean to say the experimental theater one name of one theater is there which i just now have taken experimental theater is there <clears throat> then birla theater is there there, if you go, go to see such drama, um, maybe two hours drama or so, you will find a huge difference is there between a movie and uh, a stage play. A stage play directly impacts the audiences. For you and me, it has, uh, you know, the immediate role to play. You know, this, uh, this all happens. And it is to be experienced. I did so in Mumbai. I feel that was there for a great time for me to learn and experiment certain things over there. Uh, I therefore tell you, if you get an opportunity uh, to be there for some days, so you devote uh, you know, one evening for going for such uh, you know, drama. Uh, Birla Theatre is there and one experimental theatre, both of them in front of uh, Nariman Point. Wonderful scene you'll get as you get, get out of uh, that place and then all lighting that queen's necklace and all. Uh, but the more than that would be the experience that in Dadar also there are theatre, in Vashi also there are theatres, so you can witness any. In, but English plays are generally there uh, near Nariman Point, so Birla Theatre and all these things. Anyways, now uh, getting back to this chapter, if we just talk about this chapter, the Browning version, now here I'm coming back to you. So uh, Terence uh, Ratigan is the writer and some terms as we come to know over here, if these are some of the expressions. Uh, I think maybe most of the meanings are already known to you. Remove a captain, a sadist. I think you know what that fellow is called, sadist. One who takes pleasure in making other people suffer. I hope you are able to see the screen over here, the textbook open. Do you all see? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so, I'm visible. Yeah, fine. So uh, this slackers got carried and then shriveled up. This in the course of the text, let us try to understand these expressions, okay? Now, this is the setting of the uh, play. Uh, setting of the play is in which place this, uh, you know, drama takes place and what is the outline or what is the background of that drama is, uh, you know, revealed in the first part of it. Generally, it is given in italics. <coughs> Here also it is given in the italic forms. This is an excerpt. Excerpt is only a paragraph from the Browning version. The scene is set in a school. Frank is young and 
Crocker Harris. So here it is an excerpt from Browning's version. So uh, Browning version is probably a bigger, um, you know, essay like here. See, the reference within the play of Robert Browning. I had referred to you this poet, Robert Browning. He has actually uh, written a lot of poetry. Some dramas he wrote, and maybe this is from there, the translation of the Greek tragedy, Agamemnon. Agamemnon is one uh, tragic drama uh, Robert Browning has written. And from there, this excerpt. So we don't have to bother much. But this name, if you can remember, for your general knowledge, it would be good. Uh, important thing is uh, the Browning version, as we are talking about here, is this particular you know, scene over there. The scene is set in a school. And Frank is young. Frank may be one character who is young fellow. And Crocker Harris is another fellow who is middle-aged. So from here, we can also understand Crocker Harris, then comma, middle-aged. We can also say Crocker Harris, then comma, his designation we can write. The uh, teacher over there, right? Frank, comma, young boy. That, that way also it can be written. So Frank is young and Crocker Harris, middle-aged fellow. Both are masters. Taplo is a boy of 16 and uh, Taplo is one fellow. Okay, Crank is, uh, Frank is a young man. Crocker Harry is a middle-aged fellow. Taplo is a boy, Chota Saladka, of 16 years of your age, who has come in to do extra work for Crocker Harris. This means Crocker Harris must be a teacher who must have given some extra work to Taplo. Taplo of your age. And when extra work is given, there can be two reasons why extra work is given. For someone who is doing extraordinary, extra work can be given because one is able to do. For another situation, for someone who doesn't actually, uh, you know, perform up to the mark and therefore extra work is given. Another uh, version you can add to it because there is a kind of punishment to be given. So extra work is required to get like this. But the latter, latter, uh, I think you can, you are able to understand latter matlab, jiska naam baad mein aya hai. Former matlab jiska pehle aya hai. Former will be Taplo, baad mein naam came of Crocker Harris and here it is said, but the latter has not yet arrived. Who has not yet arrived? Tell me. Who has not yet arrived? Crocker Harris. Crocker Harris, because they talked about latter. The, the latter bola jata hai and the former bola jata hai. And the spelling of latter also you try to note it down. Remember, just remember, L -A -double -T -E -R. late L-A-T-E-R. Late L-A-T-E-R, later L-A-T-E-R, later. Hona wala. Na na? Lekin, latter generally refers to person or event that takes place at the end. Usko latter bola jata hai. Last me jiska naam aata hai. Maybe of person or a place. Hai? But the latter has not arrived lekin ye abhi tak aaya hua nahi hai. and frank finds taplo waiting and there is one fellow frank who is there is waiting for tap um, who is waiting for frank and this fellow is taplo who is actually waiting for uh, crocker harris so scene is like uh, one fellow is there whose name is taplo who has uh, been to a place where frank is there and Taplo has gone to see Mr. Crocker Harris. This is the scene. Now the conversation starts. So Frank says, uh, do, do I know you? Then Taplo say, no, sir. Do I know you? I think uh, this is a different way of asking. Don't you think that uh, this is <coughs> first time you have come across this kind of expression? Do I know you? Or I think in place of this, if commonly we had said, who are you? I don't know who you are. Why are you waiting over here? Could have been, you know, our way of saying. Uh, typical way of uh, browning is this. Do I know you? No, sir. What's your name? Taplo. Frank, Taplo. No. I don't. I don't uh, know you. This is a kind of expression. <coughs> this means the moment uh, the boy told his name, Taplo. So, Crocker Harris, uh, sorry, uh, Frank tried to recall whether there is in his memory any such name is there so he immediately said yes whether it is this fellow so well, no i don't know you are not a scientist i gather this question i will uh, you know 
explain it to you what does it mean until next turn uh, uh, that's to say if uh, i have got my remove uh, all right so here what is what does it mean scientist you are in the stream of science there are some students who are in the stream of commerce there are some students who are in the stream of arts so those students who offer science may be there they call scientist <clears throat> this i feel this is my belief is if they start telling so so that the one who goes for the study of science starts believing that he has got that capacity of a scientist and there generally they go by their own choices uh, i hope you also understand if, when i say even they go by their own choices you what do i mean to say generally they um, you know have uh, their own decision about certain things and then accordingly do they uh, decide on it ki which field they would choose if somebody is good at writing somebody is good at painting somebody is good at other art form they would not go for you know sciences and so they may not be termed as scientist over here so he says ki if uh, you get all your remove that means if you get through your exam maybe uh, you would be in the next class and maybe at that time uh, you may turn out to be a scientist so taplo sorry scientist i gather then taplo says no sir i am still in the lower fifth i can't um, specialize until next term so here i think you understand like here after 10th standard we go for a different streams similarly taplo uh, must have been there in the standard from where you know after passing that examination he would be choosing some particular uh, you know stream for himself that's why he says sir i'm still in the lower fifth but there it takes place only in fifth standard okay. uh, but you don't have to think about ye uh, fifth mein aisa abhi nahi hota hai this is something this uh, chapter is written or this uh, play is written somewhat uh, 100 years before browning was uh, in there in the end of the 19th century now we are in the 21st century okay i can't specialize until next term so specialization like the becoming scientist and all this may take place in the later classes but at this moment i am only in the fifth grade i can't specialize until the next term so uh, that's to say if i have got my remove all right meaning of this one remove generally remove matlab nikal dena is uh, the meaning but here it is not so here is if i promote or if i um, allowed to get into the next class then only can i get this one you know chance to be there uh, to become a scientist then only can i decide whether i can be a scientist don't you know uh, if you have got uh, your remove frank says ye aapko malum nahi hai kya bole ki aap pass ho gaye karke and you have gone into the next class then taplo says no sir mr crocker harris doesn't tell us the results like the other masters uh, have you got my point over here what he says you know it is uh, just like some fixations you know students make of some teacher for example for me suppose there is a kind of fixation a kapil sir is both a strict and a liberal teacher so accordingly you will decide your behavior towards me if you come to know that kapil sir is very very liberal and he is not capable of even punishing then you decide your behavior towards me accordingly and you are actually very suitable judges of the nature of the teacher who teaches right so uh, if you uh, understand somebody one who cannot entertain uh, any kind of uh, comic talk or you know funny a discussion then you will never have the courage to speak up uh, like that there in such a man's class or such teachers class i mean to say even lady teachers class like that but if you have that freedom that liberty do you have then you understand you know it is possible uh, this in this particular class uh, this fun is okay this is maybe entertained it would not be taken the otherwise taplo similarly has a kind of judgment about mr crocker harris and therefore he says he uh, when franks therefore actually ask him he will you don't know ki whether uh, you have got your remove uh, maybe everyone else must have told so far but uh, crocker harris must not have told crocker harris may be a uh, very typical specific kind of fellow so 
specific was there and that is why um, because uh, you know i mean to say a specific person uh, yeah if uh, we know that kapil sir is very interested in whose chat was that very much interested in uh, delicious food items yeah who wrote this i do in yeah edwin uh, knows he, what i am interested in that's true yeah i am uh, of course very much fond of um, you know uh, food i uh, like cooking food i like tasting variety of food but my stomach uh, my belly is uh, very small i don't eat much but i like you know variety of food being um, prepared by people and even their uh, uh, method also do i want to learn and uh, test it most of the time i also experiment several times i don't mind uh, going to the kitchen and then helping out uh, uh, my better half and then sometimes even telling her you just stop i am just going to experiment something new so this is something my nature and this is what i think some of my students do know it so this is uh, a kind of you know clarity about uh, uh, you know teachers personality is there for you similarly i mean to say that there are uh, uh, students who can classify some teachers being very strict being uh, uh, very peculiar being very typical sort of people and being very rigid also at the same time and uh you also know ki who are compassionate people and then accordingly you decide your behavior similarly here taplo he he gives this comment no sir mr crocker harris doesn't tell us the results like the other masters maybe the class of mr taplo must not have been told the result till the actual date must have come ha na tum log jaisa you generally try to extract information from the teacher before uh, the results are declared maybe of some particular event so kuch log de dete hain dekhte hain ki you may have a chance as agar kar bol sakte hain kuch log bolenge no no i cannot tell you and there are, there may be some other people bole bilkul aane ka nahi tar get out from here so uh, by that you understand you know who to approach and you are actually um, uh, little you can say concerned about uh, that fact because it is all about deciding factor so you exactly want to know what happens other students of all other classes must have uh, come to know that is why frank says hey you do, did not come to know your remove so bole no sir uh, my teacher is mr crocker harris It doesn't tell us the results like other masters do other teachers batate hain lekin wo nahi batate bole then frank why not well you know what he is like sir frank i believe uh, there is a rule that um, from results that from uh, form results should only be announced by the headmaster on the last day of the term tableau yes but who else pays attention to it except mr crocker harris idhar aate tumhare paas this conversation just try to understand uh, frank is a teacher taplo is a student and another teacher is not present that is crocker harris okay middle aged fellow frank is uh, you can say little young teacher so generally you know students are little closer to the young teacher if you unko aisa lagta hai ki maybe he does not have the orthodox kind of thinking or traditional manner is uh, his way of teaching is not there so maybe he is little open minded kind of fellow so like that <clears throat> having assessed that you go little closer to the teacher you go uh, you become little open to the teacher you are able to express your view uh, to the teacher and that is why here uh, frank is having enough conversation which generally teachers i would say uh, avoid having that much of conversation with children that conversation is uh, taking place between uh, frank and taplo and uh, if it comes for um, mr crocker harris so maybe mr frank also must have got a kind of uh, you can say assessment of the personality of mr crocker harris and uh, uh, let us see now in the course of uh, this conversation how it develops so here i can say he taplo gathers much of courage to talk to mr frank uh, and tell him he sir uh, if you are asking something about uh, results being you know, declared so there is a rule you know it should be declared by the head of uh, the school but all of the teachers have already informed their uh, you know students 
but this rule is to be followed only by one man and that is mr crocker harris and crocker harris has done it successfully and i happen to be his students you know sir i believe there is a rule uh, that uh, form results uh, should be announced by the headmaster on the last day of the term yes but who else pays attention to it except mr crocker harris is your dashes hai na they also convey meaning in dialogues abhi dekho agar aisa padhe yes but who else pays attention to it except mr crocker harris dekho wo jo pauses hai they tell or they suggest to us the uh, attitude of taplo and by that you can assess you what kind of impression has he gathered of mr crocker harris acha another thing do also we come to know when we just read some more thing i don't uh, i admit but uh, that's uh, no criterion so you have got to wait until tomorrow to know uh, your fate have you taplo yes sir supposing the answer is favorable uh, what then oh science of course science sir of course frank sadly yes we get all the slackers slackers those who are poor in studies okay those who are poor performers okay now here uh, that's what he had asked mr frank must be teaching science okay and uh, therefore he has a kind of impression he nowadays uh, not very good students are going for science maybe like that and uh, he also might have gathered this opinion because taplo is standing there out for extra work which mr crocker harris had assigned to him so extra work kiske liye generally for the one who had not been doing the work and for therefore him is an extra work to be done so naturally he has to wait over there now uh, mr frank therefore says Uh, that means you will have to wait up to tomorrow to get your results because uh, crocker harris will not declare it to you the result only headmaster uh, you know would be in the position to tell you your results formally and in case you pass so what uh, subject what stream will you take of course sir science so frank will that cha sab gadhe log will come only to me mere koi sambhal le gaya na na all slackers do come these days yeah sadly hmm yes we get all slackers protestingly matlab no sir i am extremely interested in science sir no his approach no sir aisa nahi hai i am also interested in science not that i am forced to take science and not that i am not good at studies are you bole aisa lagta to nahi bole because uh, you are made to stay there for an extra work bole are you i am not are you i am not not at least in the science i have to teach no here it is a different attitude of frank is seen over here what he says is he, uh, you are telling me that you are interested in science uh, i am not so interested only thing that i have i have to teach science difference you try to understand i teach science and i have to teach science difference is there in the first one there is you know naturalness is there there is you can say involvement is there but in the second one as if it is forced on you karna pad raha hai hai na it happens sometimes you sometimes suppose um, had another dream and you landed up at becoming something so naturally you would say ki of course now i am this 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 but my wish was something else i wanted to do something else theek okay? hai like that you know he might say so uh, like this therefore let us just try to understand he may be the same way uh, but a very plainly is recording so from his name frank he also appears to be very frank frank to the extent that he has very hearty talk with the students even to such students with the uh, with such students um, with whom he does not have any direct contact or he just only has some kind of familiarity just ek batcheet hai bas nothing more than that is there yet he has that uh, you know light conversation are you i am not not at least uh, in the science science mein utna interest nahi 
आई हैव टू टीच बस मुझे पढ़ाना पड़ता वेल एनी वे सर इट्स अ गुड डील मोर एक्साइटिंग दैन दिस मक इंडिकेटिंग दिस बुक यू नो मे बी मक उस बुक को बोला है ना दिस बोरिंग थिंग you know studying science is better sir than studying this kind of work doing this kind of work okay uh, i think uh, you are getting the idea sometimes you might uh, also feel ki um, going for physical education is better than studying uh, maybe mathematics if, uh, suppose there is an option for you to tum log kya bolenge sir it's better to be on the fields than uh, solving all the form uh, you know sums of mathematics Uh, so for you, the problems of mathematics are this muck. Instead of doing all that, I would better go and play, and will also score well. This is what you know. He says. He says. Yeah, I think um, studying science is better than studying all this. What is this muck? Achilles, sir. The Agamemnon. The Agamemnon is. Uh, I think we already have got reference. Um, this is. the tragedy that is tragic play written by robert browning and he says he actually sir the agamemnon agamemnon ko padh rahe hain hum log isse padhne se acha to science padhe some you know uh, the practical subject it is and there is more truth in us so than more of imagination aisa kuch to usko bolna hoga and frank says and uh, your considered view is that the agamemnon is muck तो फ्रैंक का थोड़ा सा दिमाग खराब होता है बोलते हैं तुम्हारे को क्या लगता है कि आर्गुमेंट इज अ मक इट्स अ बोरिंग काइंड ऑफ थिंग इट इज काइंड ऑफ ट्रबल टू यू पीपल देन ही सेज वेल नो सर आई डोंट थिंक दैट प्ले इज मक एग्जैक्टली आई सपोज इन अ वे इट इज रादर अ गुड प्लॉट रियली अ वाइफ मर्डरिंग अर हजबेंड एंड ऑल दैट आई ओनली मेंट द वे इट इज टॉट टू अस just a lot of greek words strung together and fill the lines if they get them wrong have you understood this part well taplo said that this is a muck then frank says do you consider it a muck tumhare hisab se ye kharab cheez hai so bole no no sir this play is not bad this play is good actually see um uh, a husband you know murdering his wife or uh, wife murdering her husband let me just take it uh, yeah a wife murdering her husband you just imagine you know, such a nice thing but uh, the way sir it is taught you know usse dimag kharab hota hai i think this also applies to uh, you people maybe some uh, you know poem or some uh, you can say any chapter may not be that boring when you you read it personally but uh, if it is explained by someone itna boring tarike se koi aadmi padhta hai aur aisa lagta hai ki yaar ye kyu padh raha hai or what is there in this there is nothing to read hai na aisa hota hai so this all depends on the attitude of the teacher i or i can say um, over a period of time that approach is you know made for example uh, you are very excited about uh, your birthdays you are also very much excited about your parents's birthdays and suppose you tell your parents that uh, you bring cake and your father was supposed sitting there in the uh, living room and secretly the cake you had been it had been already brought by you and now when your father comes gets fresh uh, and uh, now you want your father to cut the cake then you tell your father you will a daddy it's your birthday so let's cut the cake your excitement is very high the father's reaction is kya ye kya cake ve kaatna i don't like it i am not that interested ab idhar ka approach kaisa hai no old kind of approach you know uh, no eagerness is there aur tumhara approach mein no 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 daddy just get up we'll go there we'll cut it uh, i'll have to go and bring the cake no No, no, daddy. You don't have to. You just come in this room. So our excitement. They got difference. They go. So, as I say, if uh, the father also had taken so much of excitement in, is it so? For my birthday, where is the key? I don't see it. Daddy, it is there. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So this excitement is something which is expected by uh, I think uh, Taplo while teaching that play. 
the way it it had if if it had been narrated to them maybe it would have brought better meaning maybe it would have revealed uh, you know better ideas but the way it is uh, you know treated in a such monotonous manner so he finds that play as very well, kind of boring and he therefore says he so sir no sir no there is no problem with the play play is very good it's really so good <coughs> see the plot is also so nice a wife murdering her husband and all that i only meant the way it is taught to us uh, just a lot of greek words are we uh, in english suppose uh, some french words do appear and their meanings are not known to us how do we we'll, uh, how would we take it of course it would be very tough for us to handle it the so same way is it a lot of greek words are used over there and fill the lines if you get them wrong matlab uh, if you do not understand their proper meaning and you interpret it in your own mother tongue so maybe those lines will turn out to be very dirty for you i said like in overall the play is very good but the problem is the way you know it is being taught you sound a little uh, bitter mr tap no you know aisa lagta hai ki tum bahut dukhi aadmi ho bade pareshan type ke ho and you find a lot of problem there in the play um uh, ha sir i am rather ha sir thoda hu aisa captain because i am treated probably like that ah uh, no sir captain well, no sir Uh, extra work because you are kept over here for some extra work no because you are made to stay here for some time well iske wajah se no sir wo extra work bola na sir uske wajah se fry extra work on the last day of the school extra work prank attitude extra work last day of the school you also imagine if it is your last day of the school what do you expect that the classes would be over very soon okay one thing you even more expect that half day will be given to you you know if not that half day you will expect all the classes on that day will go very light or uh, maybe most of the teachers would not teach you at all and just funny talk idhar udhar ka ye aisa ho aisa sar gana ga do uh, joke suna do all that kind of stuff because your mood already started uh, you know preparing for the coming holiday you know or uh, long gap is going to come so you are going to prepare your mind accordingly aisa thodi hota hai ki Uh, all of a sudden you will be thrown into that position and then uh, sab kuch all of a sudden will take place no mood is also created no for example it's your birthday or aisa thodi hai ki birthday only at the time of cake cutting on or time only you will have the mood of birthday it's not so oh, since morning actually it starts the way mama wishes you my dear beti my dear beta you know i'm so happy that you are born and when you were born kitta badhiya se tum meri baat sunte the abhi to nahi sunte na the like ho chuke ho all that <coughs> well uh, getting back to you and trying to tell you the excitement actually takes place isn't it and that uh, continues for the uh, day whole when it comes for your birthday so here also similarly so whether it's at the last day of the school and you are asked for an extra work then taplo says yes sir and i might be playing uh, might be playing golf you would think <clears throat> that he had uh, have enough to do anyway himself considering he is leaving tomorrow for good for good matlab hamesha ke liye but oh no i missed a day last week when i was ill so here i am and look at the weather sir so he is now putting his own way He said, "Actually, last week I was not well, and so I have to be here because that extra work, the work which was left, so that work I have to complete. So I have to be here. And I felt that uh, <clears throat> we would be going for a long time from here, but uh, it did not take place, sir. So this is uh, um, Taplow's opinion, isn't it? Page number fifty-two. And with this dialogue, I think uh, for today's class, I am going to now take your attendance. Earlier it were they were fifty fifty-one." and now i find here 54 so all of you be here until i write down your roll numbers okay and because after that one is present two is present three is present six is present seven is there nine is there and uh, um, 10 is there and 12 is there okay and just go in here 12 then 13 14 15 13 14 Then fifteen, then sixteen, then seventeen, then eighteen, then nineteen is also there. Acha, good, good response. Nineteen, 
then 21 22 23 then uh, yeah just wait i'm just now on b section okay uh, 23 then 25 then 27 28 then 30 okay tejashree 28 yeah of course it's there sir well, number 22 present yeah yeah 22 i already marked over here you must not have heard me calling out your name you know? and uh, last to write from here is 32 and 32 has 34 is there 35 is there and 36 is there from b section now moving on to c section sir roll number 33 is present roll number 33 which section b section b section 33 okay okay now i'm moving on to C section. I am calling out roll numbers. You can respond. 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, then 9, then 12, then 13, then 15, 16, 18, 15, 16, 18, 19, then 20, 20, 21, 22. 21, 22, 25, then 26, 27, 29, then 30, 30, then 33, 34, 35. All of you are present. I'll just check your chat once again. Okay. I'm stopping. Okay. I'm just going to check the chat also wherein you might have mentioned your attendance some of you so 18 is already there sir roll number 33 present roll number 33 uh, which section c yeah it is there 33 29 already there 28 33 29 35 okay Sir, Aman Khan present. Which roll number? 11302. 302, yeah, I have already marked you. Present. Yes, it is also present. Uh, yeah, I have already taken your attendance. I think. Sir, Wait, 25, 35, uh, 29, 29, 30. 15 is also here, 21, 34. You want to present? Which roll number? Three one two present, sir. Three one two. Yes, okay. Okay, now you can leave the meeting. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome.